We go back again with another match day vlog. Yes, it's a match day vlog. Sunderland go down to the Pirelli Stadium to take on the informed Burton side who've won three out of the last four games. I'm out for my daily bit of exercise under foot conditions. A treacherous, the ground can't take much more of the rain and the snow. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more dry weather, a little bit more sunshine, dry up all this mud clots because it's a nightmare. Yes, Sunderland, Sunderland. They're in decent form now. The beat don't last the last weekend very comfortably, and also they did go and win the semi final on penalties during the week, as we all know, against Lincoln. And like I said before, Lincoln were hard lines, it was 50 50 either way. And just uh, the best penalty takers on the day, you know, got through to the final against Tranmere. But can Sunderland beat Burton today? I'm going to go for a 2 0 away victory, hopefully a clean sheet. And yeah, we can push now for promotion. Now we're in the final, that's on March the 18th, I think, on a Sunday. Unfortunately, nobody can go there and watch it. Uh, we'll, we'll watch it on TV and we'll enjoy ourselves just as good. We'll have that live stream going, live watch along. And it's, it's you know, conditions today. It's bright and breezy. I need my shades on because I've got a bad eye and the sunlight. My people won't, you know, open and close. They won't let uh, too much sunlight in, even a little. Even on overcast conditions like this, it lets in too much sunlight. I've got to wear shades, even though it's dribbling with a little bit of rain. I'm going to do a score prediction for 2 0. He's been seeing Jonas' score prediction. Ben, bottom of the table, but they're in good form. I'm going to get on with my run. It's blown a gale. And I'm going to get back and prepared, ready for team news. See you in a bit. Well, with the bad weather, blown a gale, cars looking dirty, looking really scruffy because obviously the bad weather gets all the, the grit, the mud, the, 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 the dust up on your car. It looks awful. So I thought, I'd, I'll treat me car today. I'll treat it to a car wash. I'll give it a good scrub. Well, I won't actually. I'll let the car wash give it a good scrub. So yes, I can't be bothered to wash the car. There's too much snow kicking about. So we'll go through the car wash and hopefully Sunday won't be all washed up by the end of the day. Hey, hey. Oh no, the car wash has broke down. I'm stuck in the car wash. I might miss the live stream today, what's going on? Car wash has broke down. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh, we were aware, we were aware, finally. Just taking a, just having a rest. I was having a rest. I was a bit tired scrubbing all these cars. There's that much muck on my car. It had to have a rest, take a break. It might have had a kick cat, the car equivalent, whatever that is. Yes, it's time to dry the car. I understand the driving mechanism, but I don't get those big spider's legs. What do they actually do? Are they, what can they actually take off? The last tiny little bit droplets off your car. I just think they're pointless. I mean, this ultra, ultra HD Pro Shield hair dryer will just blow you away, but them spider's legs, or whatever you call them, they're, they're the kind of things you're seeing like a ghost train, isn't it? You're going through the ghost train, hitting in the face, you're like, oh, oh, oh. oh, there's a snow flying everywhere off the top of your roof, I don't know, but these are spider's legs, yes, the spider's legs. We get we get through the spider's legs, get rid of the cobwebs, the cobwebs, the spider's legs, get rid of the cobwebs. What on earth am I talking about? It's supposed to be a football blog. Right, we'll catch you in a bit. When Here we go, back again, it's full time, Sunderland 3, Burton nil, or to be precise, Burton Albion nil, Sunderland 3. Well done, son. Well done, Lee Johnson. Change the formation 3 4 3 into changeable formation because we had Bailey Wright injured. Luke 09 again, superb as centre back. Sanderson came back into the fold and also McLaughlin as the three centre back. So, team news today Bergeron goal, Sanderson, McLaughlin, and 09. And we had a little bit of power as the sturdy centre midfielders with Vulcans and Gooch as kind of wing backs. Wyke, O'Brien and McGeady up front, but also on the bench was Matthews, Maguire, Scone, Diamond, Neil, Neil Diamond, Winchester and Jones. Well today, oh, Doncaster scored, Doncaster three, whole three. Oh, what an interesting match, what a good game. Well done, Doncaster, in that gold with a sash kind, oh, the referee, oh, the, the goalkeeper's going mental. The players are all cock a hoop. Well done, Donk. That's the Lincoln of Wood today. Agrit and Stanley have dropped two points. And Sunderland move into sixth place. But yesterday, that formation, 
I was kind of worried because Burton were like won three out of four matches and Sunderland have played well and that cup match during the week to get us into Wembley. I kind of thought maybe it's hope we don't sort of rest on our laurels a little bit and after the Lord May show it's a typical Sunderland thing to sort of get big today after we played those matches previous to Wembley and Doncaster but no Lee Johnson Lee Johnson earning his money earning his corn under under Mr Speakman and under the new owner Krill Louis Dreyfus I want to say Krill Louis Dreyfus what a breath of fresh air 24 year old 23 year old four billion pounds in the bank to spend on Sunderland and also you know is it the 13th or 14th richest owner in English football league so I'm over the moon with Kirill finally being allowed to be the chairman and ownership, the majority shareholder at Sunderland. I am buzzing, a breath of fresh air, he's moving to the North East, he lives at Ramsay at this moment in time. It's great stuff, it's great now, and hopefully we can get promoted, touch wood this season. And then he says a five year, five year plan to get back to the Premier League where we belong in the sleeping giant of Sunderland. There's absolutely loads of potential in this club with Sun Football Club and Lee Johnson hopefully can take us up stage by stage, step by step to the Premier League. But today we beat Burton. Goals from Ledbetter. Free kick, McGeady feeds in Ledbetter. Side foot and right foot shot. Bottom left hand side. Keeper through crowded players. Couldn't quite see the shot. Bottom left hand side. Great finish, great goal. And then Gooch. Ball comes across corner. Parried out to Gooch. There's Gooch. Edge of the penalty area, takes a punch, smashes it off the crossbar, inside the goal, brilliant finish, keeping no chance. And then what do you want? One touch, Charlie Wyke. Jones comes on, feeds in the Wyke, the Wykester, puts the ball left hand side, slips it under, and it's 3 0 to Sunderland. In between that, they had a player, double yellow cards, red card went off, handbags are done. Comfortable victory. Comfortable victory, I'm over the moon, exciting times, we the top six. You know, we want a good run of form, that's all you need, and I'm happy. I am happy, I'm over the moon with McLaughlin's performance. McLaughlin's been superb, superb this season, and he's coming to his own now. He is an absolute stalwart in the defence. Luke 9 left back, we'll say left back, left centre back. But he's been brilliant, Luke 9 he can play anywhere. He's absolutely amazing, this young lad. He's a, he's, he's, a, he's a perfect, you know, example of a role model of a footballer for young people. He's amazing. He's done a great job today. So it's hard to find a man of the match. You've got McGeady being instrumental in midfield. You've got Ledbetter again. You know, Ledbetter said during the week he wants to make up for the two women defeats two seasons ago and get us a cup, but also a promotion. So Ledbetter today was amazing. Captain Power, I've got, I've, got, I've got more respect for Power for taking the first penalty on Wednesday against Lincoln. The best penalty that we, we, we had against Lincoln was brilliant. So, man of the match, it's hard to pick. I don't want to pick one. I don't at these early days. In mind, I'm excited. I'm over the moon. I want to say a thank you to everybody who's getting me over the 10k subscribers. I love you all. There'll be a 10k appreciation thank you video coming out tomorrow and we'll break the match down tomorrow on SAFC Fan TV like and subscribe to the channel as well for SAFC Fan TV me and we fully got the channel started with some great people on there we've got Michael Bowers we've got Dino we've got Conrad we've got Jacob and also we've got the young Jack Dodds who you know 17 18 year old happy birthday Jack Dodds today happy birthday Jack Dodds toast you're allowed to drink alcohol. Don't drink as much as me. It's not good for you. But happy birthday, Jack Dodds. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jackie. Happy birthday to you. Cheers. And this is the Sunderland. All the fans out there, happy dears. Ah. Take care. God bless. And may God go with you. I am over the moon today. Get in. I'm so happy. One more thing. I want to give a shout out to Bradley Young's mum, Joanne Young. It's her birthday on the 23rd of February. Have a great birthday. Have a great birthday. You know, 
I know, I know you both support my channel, so I much appreciate it. And also, James Bond? Yes, the one and only James Bond! What an amazing name, James Bond! And his daughter for watching the live stream. Thank you, much appreciated. Love you all, take care. Way! I love a bit of James Bond. Live or let die, we'll live.